Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. Are you running out of space on your device? Or do you just want to save local disk space and move some or all of your data to your iCloud storage instead? In this video, I will show you how to transfer your data from iPhone storage to iCloud. Let's go! Before you begin, make sure you have enough iCloud storage, particularly if you plan to move a lot from your device. To check, go to Settings. Tap your name above and open the iCloud configuration page. The status bar at the top shows how much free space you have and how much storage each category takes up, so it's easier to determine what's worth storing in the cloud. If you want to avail more storage, tap Manage Account Storage. Click Change Storage Plan and upgrade if necessary. Technically, moving data can vary depending on what you're transferring. Different data types like photos or documents might require slightly different steps. For instance, photos and videos typically take up the most space, so they're often the first things you move to iCloud. In iCloud settings, go to Photos and make sure Sync This iPhone is activated. To save space locally, turn on Optimize iPhone Storage as well. This replaces full-sized photos and videos on your phone with smaller versions while keeping the originals in iCloud. On the other hand, moving your files, documents, and downloads to your iCloud storage requires a different approach. First, check your iCloud settings and see to it that iCloud Drive is synced as well. Next, open the Files app and proceed to the On My iPhone directory. To move specific files, tap the three-dot menu in the upper right corner, choose Select, and tap the ones you want. Or, if you need them all, just click Select All in the upper left corner. After selection, hold down a file and click Move on the menu panel. Finally, navigate to the iCloud Drive directory and confirm the transfer. If you download a lot from the web, you can also control your download's location so they automatically save to your iCloud storage. Open Settings and scroll down to Safari. Go to Downloads and choose iCloud Drive as the default storage for your files. Okay, if I've been able to assist you, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you enjoy taking photos and videos with your iPhone, please visit my website. Over the last few months, I've created a video course where I've gathered the best tips and tricks on how to make the most out of your iPhone for photography. You'll find the link to the website in the video description. Until next time, bye!